Hi everyone. Um, sorry I can't be here today. I know it's not a good day to be absent, but um, typically on the first day of class we go over this course information sheet. So I figured we could still do that just via video. Um, and then when I return we can move on to some more interesting things. Um, so the substitute should have given you each one of these. You can follow along. Um, we're going to start with the course description. This course concentrates on the design elements and principles, a variety of media and techniques, art history, and vocabulary. Um, actually, before we discuss that, I should introduce myself to sixth graders at least, um, because you have not had me before. My name is Mrs. Bierman, and obviously I am your art teacher. So, um, the elements and principles. Um, if you look at the back of the room that has the posters on the bulletin boards that look like this, um, those list the elements of art and the principles of design. So, <clears throat> the elements are the terms that are in blue. Um, those are line, color, shape, form, texture, value, and space. And those we can kind of think about as the ingredients or the building blocks of a work of art. So regardless of really what media we're using or what subject matter we're depicting, um, two-dimensional, three-dimensional, we are going to have the elements of art. And usually you will see just about all of the elements in an artwork. Um, the terms that are in red, rhythm, movement, contrast, emphasis, pattern, balance, and unity, those are the principles of design. So those are more so ways that we can organize the elements so that we can use them more successfully. Um, so we are not going to have projects that are specifically about line or shape or balance, um, but when we we need to focus on some of these elements and principles. I'll just sort of point them out to you. You know, when we're working on uh, charcoal owl in sixth grade, we work a lot with value and texture and emphasis. Um, so I'll just point those out and remind you that those are the elements and these are the principles, um, just so you can become more aware of them. We will also use a variety of media. So the media or medium, that is whatever art material we are using to create the artwork. So it could be crayon, colored pencil, um, watercolor paint, clay, um, Sharpie. So media is plural and medium is singular. And you really need to be familiar with those terms because we will use them all the time. Um, we'll be using different techniques. So when we're working with a medium, um, I'm not just going to give you a hunk of clay and say, okay, make, uh, make a plate and make some food to put on it, eighth graders. I am going to teach you and demonstrate with you a variety of techniques that you can use so that you can make your artwork successful. Um, for most of our projects, we will discuss some art history. So whatever is sort of serving as our inspiration for that project uh, might be from art history or might be contemporary um, or more current type of art and vocabulary. So we're always going to be using art vocabulary. Sometimes we just put more of a focus on it. So for example, your ceramics unit, you'll have um, uh, summative over the ceramic terms and definitions. Um, so that is the course description. 